Tiger Sports. It's Republican Joplin as the Tigers step back into COC play. And this is their first road conference game. Getting a little late start here because they had to wait for uh, one of the umpires to arrive. And I think we're just about ready to go here in Joplin. It'll be Cade White on the mound for the Tigers. And Brecken Green will be the pitcher for Joplin. Lester will stand in there from the left side to start things off here. And Green will step up onto the mound and get ready for the first pitch. And the first one to Lester is low, a ball. 1-0 to the count to Lester. And a curveball missed outside. Last week, the Tigers lost three games, including two games in conference play, both of them 2-1, to one, both of them in the late innings. And if you think about the offense that has been so good for that stretch where they won five in a row and really through the first part of the season, Garrett Lester has been a big part of that. He didn't get on base a whole lot last week, and that was, you know, when you've got your your guy who's on base 60% of the time goes through a couple of games slump, that affects the offense. And he'll try to turn that around here. And he hits it hard right at the shortstop, and it stayed down. And Lester is going to be on base to start the game. They're going to call that an... E6, but Lester hit the ball hard, and that's good to see. Now a shortstop, number three, Devin Hughes. Brings in Devin Hughes. Lester gets a lead over there. And the pitch is outside from Brecken Green to Devin Hughes. Trace Harrington waits on deck over there. And the next pitch is a ball to Hughes. So 2-0. and oh, And Green falling behind here. That gets the first couple of hitters. And another ball, 3-0. Lester is going. The pitch is a ball. Well, no, maybe he called it a strike because Hughes isn't going on down to first. So the stolen base gets Lester into second base, and he's in scoring position for Hughes here. Swing and a foul straight back. And that's strike three. So I must have missed the strike. It's kind of hard to see the umpire from here. We've got, I'm shooting over. You can see at the bottom of the screen, there's a fence at the top of the bleachers. And then we're set back from that. And we're not really high enough for me to see over it. Uh, so I did not see the umpire's hand go up on one of those strike calls. And the sun is so bright, I can't really see the scoreboard either. <laughs> so it's going to be an adventure. We don't have a hookup to the scoreboard down here in Joplin. The first pitch is fouled back to the screen by Trace Harrington. 
One out, and Lester is at second base. Harrington trying to put the Tigers on top, trying to bust out of a three-game losing streak after they had won five in a row right before that. Brick and Green checks the runner Lester and an off-speed pitch. He floated it outside and Harrington waved at it and missed. It's 0-2. That one is outside. Tried to get him to chase it a little further out, and Harrington laid off. One ball, two strikes. And a hard hit ball at the third baseman. They look back Lester, throw across in time to get Harrington. He's retired 5-3. Lester has to stay put. And now there are two outs in the top of the first inning as Jackson Overstreet comes to the plate. Now batting is a right fielder, number 14, Jackson Overstreet. Wind is blowing very hard and pretty much out. Uh, so you get the ball in the air here and it's gonna travel today. Oh and one to Overstreet. And the next one is on the corner, a call strike. So it's 0-2 to Jackson Overstreet. He's in the hole trying to drive home Lester here in the top of the first inning. If I get through this game without something blowing off this table, I will consider the day a success, including my scorebook. There's a swing and a foul back to the screen as Overstreet stays alive. Fastball is high. Overstreet lays off. One and two. Wyatt Woods on deck. Hoping he gets a chance to bat here in the first. And that one's low and away. Ball two. Two balls, two strikes. Brecken Green is in no hurry. Looks over at the dugout to get the pitch. Now he's back up there and ready to go. And he missed outside. Overstreet again laid off. So the count's full to Overstreet, three and two. can see Luster over there at second base. Pitcher comes set, delivers, outside ball four. Overstreet works a walk and brings up Woods with two away. First walk of the game by Brecken Green. Looking in at the dugout to get the pitch call from there. Now he's back up on top of the rubber. Set and pitches, and he delivers an off speed pitch. It was low. Ball one. Let's go. Let's go. 
And a fly ball is going to blow toward the fence and fall untouched over toward the Joplin dugout on the first base side. Well beyond the reach of the first baseman or the right fielder. Wind is blowing pretty much to right center. Kind of going back and forth between center field and right field. Right now, it's sort of right in between. One ball, one strike. The count to Woods. And he takes an off-speed pitch for a strike. One and two. Fastball on the outside corner. That's strike three. Second strike out of the inning for Brecken Green. And he gets out of a jam in the first inning. No runs, no hits. There was an error. And two runners left on base for the Tigers. We go to the bottom of the first. Joplin coming to bat. No score from Joplin. You're watching Tiger Baseball on Republic Tiger Sports. Whether you have a hole in your roof or you're missing a single shingle, you know who to call in Republic. It's Mike Mansker and the team at Absolute Roofing. Give them a call at 869-0444 or find them online at absoluteroofers.com. You're always on a winning team with the Pinnegar Advantage. Top customer satisfaction. A large selection of new and pre-owned inventory. Plus 20% off routine maintenance for the entire ownership of your vehicle purchased at Pinnegar Chevrolet in Republic. You can score big with the Pinnegar family style service serving the Ozark since 1979 with the knowledge and no hassle or gimmicks that will make your car shopping experience easy. Let our family take care of yours with a five-star customer experience at PinnegarChevrolet.com. Introduce your young child to Sweet Peas at Gold Medal Gyms. It's ideal for kids aged 12 months to 5 years, promoting physical, social, and cognitive growth. Learn more at goldmedalgyms.com. Give you the defense here for the Tigers as we start the bottom of the first inning. You saw Carter Nation up there during the break. He's the designated hitter, so he'll be in the lineup, but will not be in the field. Cooper Pilkington is over there at third. Devin Hughes is at short. Ryder Davis at second, and Trace Harrington playing first base. Cade White is up there on the mound, and behind the plate is Wyatt Woods. And the first pitch is a fastball to Daniel Rose, the leadoff hitter and catcher for Joplin. Don't see a lot of leadoff hitters who are also catchers. Wyatt Woods is a guy who could do it with his speed. Second pitch is a strike. So two quick strikes on Rose by Cade White. Across the outfield, Brett Hendrickson is in left. Garrett Lester in center and Jackson Overstreet in right for Republic. And the next pitch is inside. Backed up rows. And the count's one and two. And a little chopper. Third baseman comes in, makes the throw, and it's doesn't make the throw, bobbled it. So an infield single for Daniel Rose.
seems like the Tigers have given up a bunch of those hits this year. Little choppers between third and pitcher, and it's just been a tough spot. Lane Royal batting now. Daniel Rose gets a lead over there at first. You can see how Harrington doesn't hold him on the bag, doesn't stand on the bag, but he's over there to take a throw. First pitch is a ball to Lane Royal, R-O-Y-L-E. And the fouls it back, out of play over the bleachers. Counts even one and one. Cole Lawrence, the left fielder, or the center fielder is on deck. Royal, the left fielder for this Joplin team. And there's a call strike. There goes the runner. Pitch is outside. The throw bounced down. It's a stolen base for Daniel Rose. So each leadoff hitter gets on and steals second base. From Williams to second base with a stolen base. In that case, it was the courtesy runner. Cooper Williams, who stole the base. Nobody out here, bottom of the first inning. Lead off hitter, hit a little dinker to the left side of the mound and got an infield hit out of it. And there's a curveball, swung on and missed, the strikeout for White. Royal is retired, first strikeout of the game for Cade White. And here comes Cole Lawrence. Number one, Cole Lawrence. Number one, Cole Lawrence. First pitch is a ball to Lawrence. Hard hit ball into center field and it doesn't carry out to Lester. It almost bounced over his head and it effectively does bounce over his head because he got a glove on it and it went over the top of the glove and by him and that's a double. So a leadoff double by Cole Lawrence, or a, a first inning double, drives in the courtesy runner for the leadoff hitter, Daniel Rose. And that's an RBI. And it's one nothing Joplin. Bear with me here as I try to keep everything updated. It is a little bit of an adventure with the wind blowing so hard and then having to do the scoreboard manually. Fly ball to center is caught. Runner is going to slide into third. That's the second out as Lawrence takes third base. And Kyle Schwart Cutler Schwarting is retired. And here comes Brock now Waghorn, the first, first baseman. baseman. Number 22, Brock Waghorn. Number 22, Brock Waghorn. First pitch is strike to Waghorn. And a swing and a miss. That's strike two. White trying to finish off this inning without any more damage. That's a ball. Two 
Two outs, bottom of the first inning, and Joplin on top, one nothing. And a breaking pitch bounced up there, swing and a miss, and uh, nope, it didn't bounce up there. Woods caught it. So Woods did not throw down to first. The umpire said that's a good strikeout. That's the second strikeout of the inning, but Joplin draws first blood. One run, two base hits, no errors, and one runner left on base. We go to the second inning. Joplin leads it one nothing. Back with more after this on Republic Tiger Sports. State Farm Insurance is there anytime, anywhere you need it with helpful advice and award-winning service. In Republic, call Chris Yoakum at 732-1463 or go online at chrisyoakum.com and get to a better state. Hein Street Pharmacy delivers prescriptions right to your door, and they can often save you money compared to what you're paying at the big box pharmacies. And their drive-up window can help you avoid long lines on your way home from work, too. Hein Street Pharmacy. Experience the hometown difference. Exciting things are coming soon to Republic Animal Hospital, a second veterinarian, a larger space, and pet urgent care. Medical, dental, surgical, and more on the way. Visit them at 574 East Harrison. Call 732-6800 or check republicanimalhospital.com. Andy Day is a great day to send flowers. Heaven Sent Flowers and Gifts has been your local florist in Republic since 1987, offering free local delivery. Call them at 732-1334 or go online to heavenssentflowers.com. Brett Hendrickson behind on the count, leading off the inning here, and he takes a ball outside. Two balls, two strikes to Hendrickson. Hendrickson, Pilkington, and Carter Nation. Anybody gets on, Ryder Davis due up here in the second inning. And he offered at that fastball that was a little bit up, and he strikes out. That's the third strikeout for Brick and Green. And Cooper Pilkington steps in. Good start for Brick and Green. He gave up a walk, allowed another runner on an error but has pitched well so far here in the early going. It's 1-0 to him now, 1-0 uh, to uh, Pilkington now. And a swing and a chopper outside the bag at third. Evens the count, one ball, one strike to Pilkington. See Nation on deck down there. Curve ball is a call strike. Pilkington thought it stayed in. Did not get the call. Lady Tigers soccer team is at home tonight taking on Joplin. And we'll have photos of that and a game recap later. Along with a game recap of this one. Hard hit ball outside of third is foul. Pilkington stays alive. And Brecken Green gets the signal, looks at his wrist, sends it home, and there's a grounder through the hole, a diving stop made by the third baseman. No throw, though. David Bend got to it, knocked it down, but wasn't able to recover in time. And let's watch that one again. That's the first hit for Republic. 
Now batting the designated hitter number 12, Carter. Good play by Ben to get to it. Brings in Carter Nation. Pilkington, not too big a lead over there. And a swing and a miss by Nation. Wind has shifted a little bit. Now it's blowing kind of across the field toward the right field foul pole. But then as I said that, I looked out, and now the flag is blowing straight to center. So it's just whipping around all over the place. One ball, one strike now to Nation. Outside. Ryder Davis is on deck. Two and one that count to Carter Nation. As Pilkington leads off over there at first base. And a curveball is high and tight. Three and one. There's a little dinker toward third, a possible double play ball. Boy, they did a good job of getting the force. Got the lead runner. And a fielder's choice puts Nation at first base. Watch the quick hands by David Bend over there at third. That was not an easy play. Had to come in and get it. Didn't hesitate to make the throw, and that was the difference. Two outs now is Ryder Davis bats. And that one is a call strike. Thought that one might have sailed a little too far, but he caught the corner with it. 's outside one ball one strike I said I was going to be surprised if nothing blew off the table I almost lost the clipboard but didn't quite blow it all the way off there and if it goes off the front of the table it's going down on the walkway but underneath me so hopefully no one's standing around down there two balls one strike now to Ryder Davis if he can get on back to the top of the order with Garrett Lester and he hits it hard right at Ben throws to second for the force out and that's going to do it so Davis hits into a fielder's choice as well to end the inning Nation forced at second. The Tigers leave a runner on. They had their first hit of the game, but failed to score. We go to the bottom of the first. Joplin on top, 1-0. Back with more after this on Republic Tiger Sports. Recently, Cox Health Springfield Hospitals achieved magnet designation in nursing, an accomplishment that only 9% of hospitals in the nation share. This honor is huge for us and for you because meeting 94 standards of excellence is a bar as high as it gets in nursing. Nurses who do more so you can feel better. Cox Health, it's the right thing. Here's a touchdown for your family budget. Combine your home and auto insurance and save money with State Farm agent Sarah Rader. Find her online at sarahrader.com. This is Vanessa at Beauty and Wellness Co. At Beauty and Wellness, we are all about Retmo Spirit. And we're also about helping you optimize your internal wellness and enhance your external beauty. 
Whether you're looking to age gracefully or just looking for a boost of energy to help you refuel and recover, we are the place to go. Visit our spot at Highway 174 and Main Street. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram at Beauty Plus Wellness CO or call us at 417-590-8200. Have a beautiful day. Vision Health Eye Center, outstanding eye care, exceptional eyewear. From prescriptions to emergency care, they help your family see and feel better than ever before. Visit visionhealthicenter.com. David Ben, the third baseman for Joplin, leads it off in the second inning. He made a couple of nice plays in the top half of the inning, and he takes a breaking pitch, leaned back from it, and it got the inside corner. Strike one. David Bend, Peyton Swenson, and Braxton Goff do up here in the second inning for Joplin. They lead 1-0, a swing and a miss by David Bend. Bend is spelled B-H-E-N-D. And he is in the hole 0-2 as Cade White is back out there for the Tigers. Curveball missed. Wind continues to whip around just about everything. You can hear things blowing around. And uh, Chopper off of Ben's foot, I think, hit him in the box. He started to run, but turns around and goes back. And a swing and a miss. Off speed pitch. He was way out in front. And he swings and misses and strikes out. Three strikeouts now for Cade White. And here comes Peyton Swenson. He's the second baseman for Joplin. Second baseman, number seven, Peyton Swenson. Number seven, Peyton Swenson. White back up on the mound, ready to go. And a swing and a fly ball into shallow right field. And Overstreet comes in. There's a collision out there. And they are both shaken up. I don't know if they caught the ball or not. Yeah, whoever caught it caught the ball. But they are both slow to get up. The umpire signaled out. And I'm not sure who caught it, but both of them slow to get up. So while they work on Ryder Davis and Jackson Overstreet, I'm gonna take a quick break and we will be back with the continuation of this second inning after this timeout on Republic Tiger Sports. For 30 plus years, Yokum Automotive has been Republic's trusted repair shop. Now with digital inspections, understand your car's needs before they make repairs. Book an appointment at yokumautomotive.com. Elliot Robinson and Company LLP, certified public accountants, is Republic's local full-service accounting firm, serving as your trusted business advisors. And they're making possible our Buy the Numbers feature, where we look at stats that catch our eye on the Republic sports scene. Elliot Robinson and Company, conveniently located in the Wildwood Plaza, across from Pinnegar Chevrolet, or find them online at ERCPA.com. Destiny Church is a proud supporter of Republic Tiger Sports. Join us on Sunday mornings at 10 a.m. at 526 East Harrison behind McAllister's. We also have a youth service for students 6th through 12th grade. Doors open at 5.30 p.m. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, or online at destinychurch.me.
For nearly 50 years, Southern Sun Electric has been helping to build Republic and the Ozarks. For dependable commercial and industrial construction and service, choose Southern Sun Electric, a longtime supporter of Republic students. Find them online at southernsunelectric.com. When you need a plumber, you usually need one fast, but you also want one who'll do the job right. In Republic, that's far better plumbing. Whether it's residential, commercial, or you need excavation, call Far Better and let them take away the stress of your plumbing problem. Call them at 864-8703 or find them online at farbetterplumbing.com. Well, just to fill you in, they are still checking out Ryder Davis down there, the second baseman. He collided with Jackson Overstreet going after a little pop-up. And so they are talking to him down there. And I can see him moving somewhat, so that's good news, but hard to say much from here. So I'm going to leave the Tell you what, I'll just leave the scoreboard up for now. And I'm going to turn off the sound just because there's not much to say at this point. Score is 1 0 Joplin. We're in the bottom of the second inning. And I'll, I'll kind of I'll put some kind of a message up. So if anybody checks in, they know what's going on. But, well, now as I say that, they are going to help. I see Ryder Davis leaning forward. So he's he's sat up. That's good news. He is not going to stay in the game. I can tell that. But uh, good news to see him sitting up, and our prayers are with him as they help him off the field. He is limping and being kind of half carried, half limping to the cart, and they will help him off. So don't know what's going on, but that does give you some idea that it's it's a leg and not like a, a neck or a back, anything like that. Um, but beyond that, can't really say anything. So he is on the cart out there, and I was going to, just take the break and go silent. But I will probably keep it right here for now. Cade White is just loosening up his arm, playing catch with Wyatt Woods. And when we return to action, there will be two outs, nobody on base. Still not really sure whether Overstreet or Davis caught that ball, but the umpire, I believe, did signal an out. So one of them in the collision hung on to the ball. And then another Republic player went out and retrieved the ball out of the glove. I think it was Harrington thinking back as the play unfolded. 
Ryder Davis, please know our thoughts are with you. So Ryder Davis helped off the field or carried off the field on the cart. And again, he was up conscience, conscious and helped off the field. So uh, whatever the injury is, he was able to, to move around. And now I'll zoom back out and get ready to resume action here. Cade Watt will probably get all the time he needs to re-warm up again. Braxton Goff will bat against Cade White here with two away. Number one, Nolan, Nolan Coble now playing second base. And Nolan Coble is the new second baseman for the Tigers, coming in in place of Ryder Davis. And that kind of puts a damper on the mood here. Baseball game, not, not quite as important as it was a few minutes ago. White will be back on the mound, and he sends a fastball inside to Goff, who turns away with, from it. Goff is spelled G-O-U-G-H. Rhymes with cough. And he swings and misses at one down and away. One ball, one strike. Coble in his position over there at second base now in place of Davis. And White back up on the mound. And a swing and a miss. And over there in right field, Jackson Overstreet still out there as well. So Overstreet was shaken up. It took him a while to get up. But he was able to stay in the game. That pitch a ball, two and two. And the wind continuing just to blow like crazy. Now it's blowing more to left center field. It's always blown toward the outfield fence somewhere, but it's shifting around at different times. And a curve ball, swing and a miss. Cade White strikes him out. Strikeout number four for Cade White, and that ends the inning. It's a one, two, three inning for Cade White in the bottom of the second. We go to the third. Joplin on top, one nothing. Back with more after this on Republic Tiger Sports. Get your Rocco's Pizza hot and ready for to-go orders at RoccosItalianKitchen.net or pick up a slice at the game because Rocco's is a proud supporter of Republic Athletics and the Booster Club's concession stands. Rocco's Pizza, Pasta, Perfection, and Tiger Spirit. Experience matters in real estate. With Lori and Elizabeth, you get specialists in residential, land, lake, and commercial sales from Springfield to Joplin to the lake. Your ultimate connection to lenders, marketers, and contractors. Visit laurieandelizabeth.reesnichols.com, your seasoned real estate teammates. Choose locally owned Central Gas Propane for unmatched service. They go the extra mile for your needs. Call 417-725-3833 or visit centralgasmo.com to switch and save today. PKD Cafe is now Marigold Farm Cafe and Catering Company, but it's still where the 417's best burritos meet friendly faces. A haven for Republic students, it's the perfect spot to fuel up before school or unwind on a weekend. Your pit stop for flavor and relaxation only at Marigold Farm Cafe and Catering Company. Garrett Lester leads it off and fouls it back out of play. 0-1 to Garrett Lester. Lester reached on an air, hit the ball hard his first time at short. 
Got on on the air by the shortstop and then stole second base where he was stranded. Tigers still looking for their first run. Rickett Green back there on the mound, ready to go here with another pitch to Garrett Lester. And a hard hit ball, that is up into the wind. That's gonna carry all the way to the fence and it's gonna go over the fence, it's out. A home run by Garrett Lester. Well, I don't know what he's doing. He's slowed down, then he sped up. Yeah, it's a home run, it's over. It got over that initial fence and Lester knocks one out to tie the game of one. First home run for Lester. And he he put a charge in that. That would have been close to out on any day. But on today, you know, with the wind the way it is today, not much chance of that one staying in as hard as he hit it. And there's a hard hit ground ball off the glove of the diving David Bend. So the infield hit by Hughes puts runners at first and second. Let's take a look at that home run by Garrett Lester again. Cleared the lower wall and then it hit beyond that and bounced back in. Lester looked like he went into a home run trot then he thought, oh, I better run. Then Kurt Plotner said, no, you're in the clear. That's a home run. And Garrett Lester has tied the game at one apiece. So now with Hughes at first base, Trace Harrington will bat. Hughes gets a lead over there. Not going, and Harrington swings and misses. And another foul. Another strike against Hughes as he fouled that one back to the screen, or against uh, Harrington, rather. 0-2 to Harrington. He's 0-1, for 1, grounded out to the third baseman, David Bend, his first time up. Hughes gets his lead. And off speed, Harrington swings and misses. He's 0-2 for for now. Strikeout number four for Brick and Green and Jackson Overstreet will bat. Top of the third, tied 1-1. Devin Hughes at first base. Now he's got a big lead over there, and Green steps off. One out after the strikeout to Harrington. Overstreet walked his first time. Let's see if Hughes tries to cause any more problems over there at first. He dives back in and got away, and that's why you do it, because he was distracted and then threw it away, and now Hughes is going to run all the way over to third. He had to put his hand up to hold his helmet on as he rounded second because the wind was blowing in his face. It took him a long time to get over there, but I'm going to blame the wind. So an error on green allows Hughes to go from first to third, and he's at third base with one out now. And Overstreet can drive him in just by putting the ball in play here. Anything pretty much other than a pop-up. That's high. Two balls, no strikes. Uh, 
That's a call strike. And a hard hit ball through the hole. There comes the runner in to score. That's Hughes, and the Tigers take a two-to-one lead on an RBI single by Jackson Overstreet. Two-to-one. Tigers on top. Overstreet down there at first base, and Wyatt Woods will bat. So a 2-1 lead now for the Tigers. And over at first base, Overstreet gets a lead. Not a very big one. There's a high hopper over toward the Republic dugout. All in one. Woods struck out looking his first time up. And a curveball is a strike. So Woods in the hole, 0 2. And he hits it hard. It sends back the left fielder all the way to the fence. It bounces one hop off the fence. And the runner. Overstreet will cruise into third. That's a stand-up double for Wyatt Woods. So the double by Woods means the Tigers just need a triple to hit for the cycle in this inning. Home run by Lester. Overstreet with a single. Woods with a double. And runners at... Second and third now with one out, and there's a fly ball up the line, and it may drop fair. And in comes Overstreet. So Hendrickson's little blooper drops in. Overstreet comes in to score. I am trying to keep my tripod from blowing over. <laughs> so Woods goes to third. That's why I'm having to pause occasionally. And Hendrickson ends up at second after the RBI. It's 3-1. And that pitch is a ball to Cooper Pilkington. Frickin' Green try to work out of trouble here. And there's a foul back to the screen. One out, top of the third inning. Runners at second and third, and the Tigers already on top 3-1. They trailed 1-0 when this inning started. They've scored three. They've got two runners in scoring position and only one out. And Pilkington trying to add on. And he rips it into left field. That's a line drive base hit. One run will score. They will hold the second runner at third. That's Hendrickson. Woods comes across. An RBI single by Cooper Pilkington, and he is now two for two. And it's four to one. Runners at first and third as Carter Nation stands in. He hit into a fielder's choice back in the second. And he's the eighth batter to come up here in this inning. And he hits it high into left field. The left fielder came in, now goes back, and he lost track of it. It drops, and all the way to the fence rolls the ball, retrieved by the center fielder. And all the way around comes Pilkington to score. And it's going to be a hit. And I don't know what they're going to score that, but Nation cruises into third. Nation with an air advances to third. Brett Hendrickson 
So that's a three base error on the left fielder. So no RBIs, but it makes the score six to one. And now Nolan Coble will bat. Runner at third, now the infield in on the edge of the fake grass. You want to say in on the edge of the grass, there is no grass. So they're in on the edge of the green, I guess, is how you say that. And Coble in the hole, 0 and 2. Takes it outside. One ball, two strikes. Still just one out here. Lester started the festivities with a home run over the right center field fence. And then five more base hits since then. A single by Hughes, a single by Overstreet, a double by Woods, a single by Hendrickson, a single by Pilkington, and then the three base error by the left fielder on the pop-up by Nation. There's a foul as Coble stays alive. Lane Royal came in. As soon as he took a step in, I knew that was a mistake with this wind. It is blowing like crazy, and right now it is blowing right over Lane Royal's head. So maybe on a normal day, that would have been a bring a step in, but on a day like this, no. And that one ended up being a little pop-up, but it wasn't easy, even for Shoemaker, the shortstop. He came in to kind of behind the mound and then realized the ball was going to blow back a little bit further than he anticipated. So Coble pops out. That's the second out of the inning. And back to Garrett Lester, batting for the second time in this inning. Nation over there at third base. Two outs now. And Lester went around, I guess. 0-1. And he skies it into shallow right center field, and the center fielder is there to make the catch. So the Tigers are retired, but they scored six runs. They had six hits, including the home run by Lester. They left a runner on base. There were a couple of errors by Joplin, and the Tigers have taken a 6-1 lead as we go to the bottom of the third. Back with more after this on Republic Tiger Sports. Teamware Solutions is not only your source for official Tiger apparel, but they're also a partner for your group's fundraising needs. Business apparel, bleacher apparel, and on-field apparel. They've got you covered. Find them online at TeamWearSolutions.com. Harris Pizza brings a slice of history to your table. Since 1961, their blend of handcrafted dough, rich sauces, and a variety of fresh toppings cooked in an authentic brick oven offers a unique dining experience. Explore their menu at arispizzapalace.com or drop into the Wildwood Plaza on Highway 60. Whether you have a hole in your roof or you're missing a single shingle, you know who to call in Republic. It's Mike Mansker and the team at Absolute Roofing. Give them a call at 869-0444 or find them online at absoluteroofers.com. You're always on a winning team with the Pinnaker Advantage. Top customer satisfaction, a large selection of new and pre-owned inventory, plus 20% off routine maintenance for the entire ownership of your vehicle purchased at Pinnaker Chevrolet in Republic. You can score big with the Pinnaker family-style service serving the Ozark since 1979 with the knowledge and no hassle or gimmicks that will make your car shopping experience easy. Let our family take care of yours with a five-star customer experience at PinnakerChevrolet.com. Caden Shoemaker leads things off for Joplin. Bottom of the third inning. He showed bunt and then pulled the bat back for a ball. Shoemaker, the ninth hitter in the order, then back to the top of the order. Daniel Rose and Lane Royal also do up in this inning. Cade White in his third inning of work, and that's a foul tip. 
by Caden Shoemaker. Six one the score. Tigers on top. A six run top of the third inning has put them on top. And a curveball, and that is a call strike. Shoemaker knew it. He backed away. And it's one ball, two strikes. White ready to deliver another one. That one's outside. Two and two. White comes set. Delivers. And that's ball three. So it's three and two now, and he's in danger of losing the leadoff hitter, Caden Shoemaker, here in the bottom of the third inning after his team gave him six runs in the top half of the third. Let's see if he can finish him off here. And he did. That's a call strike. Shoemaker tried to sell it as a ball, but I think everybody in the park other than Shoemaker knew it was a strike. That's strikeout number five for Cade White. Two strikeouts in a row. He struck out four of the last five, and we're back to the top of the order in Daniel Rose. Rose singled, stole a base, came in to score the only run of the game for Joplin back in the first inning. Base is empty as White. Delivers the first pitch to Rose, and it's inside. Ball two. And that one's inside off the plate. Ball three. So it's 3-0 and to Daniel Rose. Rose is the catcher for Joplin. And if he gets on, I would assume we'll have a courtesy runner again. Cooper Williams is who ran for him last time. Trying to get on here with one out. And he takes it inside. A four-pitch walk. Rose the first on a walk. That's the first walk issued by Cade White. And Cooper Williams does come in to run for Daniel Rose. So we already know he's got good enough speed to steal a base. He did it in the first inning. I said earlier that Daniel Rose singled and stole a base, but it was Cooper Williams, the courtesy runner, who stole that base. Not too big a lead, and the first pitch is a ball to Lane Royal. Royal struck out in the first And he takes it inside. Two balls, no strikes. Royal had a three-base error that allowed two runs to score in the top half of this inning. He'd like to redeem himself somewhat here. That's a strike. Two balls, one strike to Lane Royal. Cole Lawrence, the number three hitter in the Joplin order, is on deck. Throw over and back in safely is Cooper Williams. Just enough to keep him honest over there. And again, throws over. Again, Williams back in there safely. Two balls, one strike, the count to Lane Royal. And he swings and misses, and the count's even two and two. Wind is currently strong, but not gale force like it has been. It's lightened up a little bit, and there's a foul back out of play, two and two. 
the flag out there in left center field by the scoreboard is it's stretched all the way out horizontal to the ground, but it's not blowing up into the air like it was earlier. It's not pointed at the sky. So that that's a sign that the wind has calmed down a little bit. That pitch is a ball, three and two. Off speed, Royal laid off. It's outside. That's ball four. Two straight walks by Cade White. And Joplin has a couple of runners on with one away. As Cole Lawrence, the number three hitter in the order, comes to the plate. So good situation for Joplin. Part of the order due up, and they've got two on and one out. Cade White and the Tigers could use a double play ball. And there's a strike. Got ahead of Lawrence. Lawrence doubled his first time up, was stranded. He drove in the only run of the game for Joplin. And a swing and a ground ball through the hole on the left side. They're going to send the runner. Hendrickson will make the throw. It's offline, up the line. And that's another RBI for Cole Lawrence. An RBI single. Daniel Rose comes in to score, and or rather Cooper Williams, the courtesy runner, and Lane Royal stops at second base. So runners at first and second, still one out. That makes the score six to two. And Cutler Schwarting comes to the bat. Cutler, K-U-T-L-E-R. Schwarting, S-C-H-W-A-R-T-I-N-G. Cutler Schwarting, cleanup hitter for the Eagles. And he swings and misses. One ball, one strike. Runners at first and second. Curveball misses. Two and one. And that one's a strike. Caught the inside corner. Joplin fans didn't like that call. Counts even two and two to Cutler Schwarting. Brock Waghorn on deck for Joplin. And outside with the pitch just missed by a few inches. Didn't get him to chase it. And the count's full. And that's a strikeout. So White strikes out Schwarting. And that's strikeout number six. That was a big strikeout for White. Second out of the inning, and it brings in Waghorn. First pitch from Cade White is a curveball. And that's the ball. You know, that, that one spun out of Wyatt Woods' glove, and I think if he'd have hung on to that, I think that was going to be called a strike. Looked to me like the umpire's arm started to go up, and then he saw the ball come out. That really shouldn't affect things, but I think it might have in that case. And that's a fastball that gets away. And it, talking to the coaching staff, you know, that's part of the uh, challenge of catching Cade White. The spin rate on his pitches is so high that it is hard to catch some of those pitches. A wild pitch allows the runners to advance to second and third, though. Now two runners in scoring position. And Woods kept it in front. Base is open now with David Bend on deck. Waghorn struck out looking his first time, batting with two away. Runners at second and third, bottom of the third inning. And a 6-2 lead for Republic. And there's a hard hit ball, and it is foul just outside the bag. Pilkington dove for it, and 
just missed it. Hard hit ball, but Tigers got the break. And that's the call strike. So it's three and two. Waghorn wanted to draw the walk, started to toss the bat. The umpire said not so fast. So a full count now, three and two, and White's a strike away from working out of trouble here in the third. Here comes the pitch. And that is the ball. Must have been a little low. That's ball four. Third walk of the inning by White. Three walks and a single. Here comes Josh Neufeld to talk things over with Kate White as the bases are loaded. And a 6-2 lead for the Tigers. While they talk things over, I'll take a break. Back with more after this on Republic Tiger Sports. Introduce your young child to Sweet Peas at Gold Medal Gyms. It's ideal for kids aged 12 months to 5 years, promoting physical, social, and cognitive growth. Learn more at goldmedalgyms.com. State Farm Insurance is there anytime, anywhere you need it with helpful advice and award-winning service. In Republic, call Chris Yoakum at 732-1463 or go online at chrisyoakum.com and get to a better state. Conference has broken up and we're about to resume with David Bend. The third baseman at the plate for Joplin. He struck out looking his first time. First pitch to Bend from White is a strike. And White wants to have a word with Wyatt Woods. Wants to make sure that they are on the same page with a runner over there at third. And does not want a wild pitch or a pass ball to allow Joplin to get another run home. They've already scored one here in the bottom of the third. Cut into a 6-1 lead to make it 6-2. Outfield plays David Bend fairly deep. And shades him to pull just a little bit. Big gap in right center, though. And that one is outside. A fastball way beyond Woods. And then Woods couldn't pick up the rebound off the backstop cleanly. And the wild pitch is the second of the inning. and allows Lane Royal to scamper across home plate. The other two runners move up. And it is 6-3. to three. Counts one ball, one strike to David Bend. And he swings and misses. That's strike two. So again, White within a strike of getting out of trouble. And that one misses. Two and two. And a swing and a miss. That one got away from Woods, and the ball was kicked. But he makes the throw down to first anyway. I don't know what the ruling would be on that, actually. I've never seen that happen before. They got the out. Uh, used to have a, a book called Naughty Problems of Baseball, K-N-O-T-T-Y, Problems of Baseball, and it had things like that. If the pitch is a third strike and it's bounced up there, and then as the runner tries to get down to first, he kicks the ball as he makes his way toward first base. Is that interference on the batter, interfering with the catcher trying to get it, or can he advance? I don't know what the call would be. And we didn't have to find out because Woods had the presence of mind to pick it up and throw it around the runner. Anyway, Joplin scored a couple of runs. The lead now is 6-3. to three. So we will take a break. And be back with the fourth inning after this timeout. You're watching Tiger Baseball on Republic Tiger Sports. 
Hind Street Pharmacy delivers prescriptions right to your door, and they can often save you money compared to what you're paying at the big box pharmacies. And their drive-up window can help you avoid long lines on your way home from work, too. Hind Street Pharmacy. Experience the hometown difference. Exciting things are coming soon to Republic Animal Hospital, a second veterinarian, a larger space, and pet urgent care. Medical, dental, surgical, and more on the way. Visit them at 574 East Harrison. Call 732-6800 or check republicanimalhospital.com. Devin Hughes leads it off in the fourth inning for Republic. And he chops it foul. Oh, and two, and a curveball is hit to David Bend at third. Two hopper throws across, and Hughes is retired to lead off here in the fourth. So Hughes is one for three, and it brings in Trace Harrington. Harrington, 0 oh for two. One pitch to Harrington is the ball. Two and one. Harrington grounded out to third and struck out, and he hits it hard to right center field. It gets up in the wind, and that one might carry out. It does. A home run for Harrington. And once that ball, if you hit it fairly hard and it gets up in the air, it's got a good chance to go out, and that one did. Second inning in a row that the Tigers have hit a home run. And he hit that one the opposite way and plenty hard. That was, I think, a little bit further than Lester's because it was more towards center field. But he put a charge in it, and it is seven to three. Overstreet is one for one. He's been on base twice. Walked in the first, singled and scored in the third. He's got a 2-0 and count. And that pitch is a strike. Swing and a miss by Overstreet. Two and two. Joplin scored a single run in the first inning. Republic took the lead with six in the third. Joplin answered with two more in the bottom of the third. It was 6-3, now 7-3 after the home run by Harrington. That's a ball. And the count is full to Jackson Overstreet.
And he takes the fastball for strike. And there's a swing and a little one hopper to the second baseman. I think he actually lost that in the sun, believe it or not. High hop. And Woods reaches. Let's see what they score it. It was an easy play, but the way he reached for it, not sure. Nope, oh, they're going to call out an error. The way he reached for the ball, I thought that possibly they were going to say that he was, that he, it was the sun that caused that. A swing and a foul tip. Runner was going, has to turn around and go back. outside one and two wind has picked up a little bit not from where it was uh, at the beginning of the game but picked up from where it was just the last few minutes it had kind of died down to a reasonable level now it is being unreasonable again that one way outside woods not going anywhere And the count's two and two to Brett Hendrickson. Two outs, top of the fourth inning, and Woods at first base. Tigers have already scored one run on the homer by Harrington to right center field. That's ball four. Nope, ball three, I mean. Three and two. Hendrickson's been up there a while. I was thinking it's got to be a 3-2 count, but he keeps fouling it off, and that's just now getting to ball three. So three and two, two outs. Woods will be going. And there he goes. And that is strike three. Hendrickson, fall down on strike. Hendrickson strikes out for the second time. He's one for three. And the Tigers are down in the fourth. They scored one run on the home run by Harrington. One error. One runner left on base. Go to the bottom of the fourth. Republic on top, seven to three. Back with more after this on Republic Tiger Sports. Recently. Cox Health Springfield Hospitals achieved magnet designation in nursing, an accomplishment that only 9% of hospitals in the nation share. This honor is huge for us and for you because meeting 94 standards of excellence is a bar as high as it gets in nursing. Nurses who do more so you can feel better. Cox Health, it's the right thing. Here's a touchdown for your family budget. Combine your home and auto insurance and save money with State Farm agent Sarah Rader. Find her online at sarahrader.com. This is Vanessa at Beauty and Wellness Co. At Beauty and Wellness, we are all about retmo spirit. And we're also about helping you optimize your internal wellness and enhance your external beauty. 
Whether you're looking to age gracefully or just looking for a boost of energy to help you refuel and recover, we are the place to go. Visit our spot at Highway 174 and Main Street. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram at Beauty Plus Wellness CO or call us at 417-590-8200. Have a beautiful day. Ready to go on the bottom of the fourth inning. Cade White is back out there. New right fielder is Mason Fleetwood, and he actually pinch hit. Uh, I didn't hear the announcement, I'm trying to keep track of everything else up here and keep things from blowing off the table. But Fleetwood was batting there for Overstreet and struck out in the fourth inning, and he's out there. And I would imagine that is related to the collision between Ryder Davis and Jackson Overstreet. Earlier in the game, Ryder Davis left the game at the time. And Overstreet stayed in, but has been taken out now in favor of Fleetwood in right field. So Fleetwood in right, with Lester in center and Hendrickson in left. And the first pitch is up and in to Peyton Swenson, the second baseman. He popped out. He's the batter who was batting and popped it into shallow right field. And that led to the collision between Overstreet and Davis. And I still am not sure whether it was Overstreet or Davis who caught that ball. They came together and collided. And Swenson was out, but that's all I could tell from that play. Two balls, no strikes to count now to Peyton Swenson. And he pops it into center field. Long run for Lester, but the ball will be pushed out to him. He slides on one knee, makes the catch. And that's the first out of the inning. I'm surprised that ball didn't carry out further to Lester. He had to run a long way in to get to it. And the wind didn't push it quite as far as I thought it would. Must have not gotten very high in the air. Goff will bat now. Braxton Goff is the batter, number eight batter in the order. Takes the ball. It's 2 0 from Cade White. A six run third inning is the difference in the game for Republic. They lead it 7 3. Curveball is. High, ball three. And ball four. So a four pitch walk allows Braxton Goff to reach. Fourth walk of the game, and that's the fourth walk in the last one and a third innings of work for Cade White. So it brings in Caden Shoemaker, the shortstop. Goff gets a lead over there. He's the right fielder. And the first pitch is a ball to Shoemaker. Shoemaker struck out looking his first time. Joplin hasn't done much against White when he's thrown strikes. The walks have done him in here. Throw over to Harrington first, and easily back in is Braxton Goff. Foul tip back to the screen. Shoemaker showed bunt. Goff has a pretty good lead over there at first. And that's ball three. 
Shoemaker is turning as if he's planning to bunt. I don't think he really is. I think he's taking as White has hit a little snag with his control here. And they almost got him. Oh, just barely missed him on the tag by Harrington. Goff was leaning, and he just barely got back in ahead of the tag from Harrington. And that's ball four. So two straight walks, just like last inning when he walked two hitters in a row. That happened with one out as well. Five walks in the game by Cade White. Goff down to second, Shoemaker to first. And Daniel Rose, the leadoff hitter, comes to the plate. Rose has singled and walked. And the courtesy runner for him, when he's gotten on base, has scored now the catcher, two of the three Daniel Joplin runs in this game. Number six, Daniel Rose. Tigers could use a double play ball here or a strikeout. There's a swing and a miss. That one is inside. One ball, one strike to Daniel Rose. White checks the runner at second and delivers. And that's a breaking pitch that caught the outside corner, one and two. So White ahead on the count for the first time in this inning. Trying to work around a couple of walks here. That one is inside and Rose backs away from it. Two and two. Rose thought about it, held up, and he's got a full count, three and two. Rose almost swung at that, held up at the last minute, and now it's three balls, two strikes. White in danger of loading the bases. And a timeout called by Rose. Four run lead. Tying run is on deck for Joplin though. And a curveball got him. That was a good pitch by Cade White and Daniel Rose down on strikes. Eight strikeouts for Cade White. Now batting the left fielder number 17, Lane Royal. And Lane Royal will bat. Royal struck out in the first, walked and scored in the third. That's now with two outs, and he gets a piece of a pitch that was a breaking ball, 0-1. So Royal is 0-1. for 1. And a fastball stayed in. Kind of looked like it cut in on the hands. It's one and one. And that's a curveball first strike. One ball, two strikes as White's hat flies off. I think I mentioned last broadcast that that used to be something that happened all the time to White. Hasn't really had the hat fly off very often, but it's hard to keep anything on your head in the wind like this. It is really blowing. One and two the count. And a curveball, and it's fouled off. That's good hitting by Royal. 
His knees buckled, and he still managed to get the bat around there and get a bat on it just to foul it off and stay alive. So the count remains one and two to Lane Royal. Runners at first and second, and a curveball popped up. Devin Hughes calls for it and makes the catch. That ends the inning. Tigers out of trouble in the fourth. To Devin Hughes, the shortstop for out number three. No runs, no hits, a couple of walks. No errors, two runners left on base by the Eagles. We go to the fifth, Republic on top, 7-3. You're watching Tiger Baseball on Republic Tiger Sports. At the end of four complete innings, the score. Vision Health Eye Center, outstanding eye care, exceptional eyewear. From prescriptions to emergency care, they help your family see and feel better than ever before. Visit visionhealthicenter.com. For 30-plus years, Yokum Automotive has been Republic's trusted repair shop. Now with digital inspections, understand your car's needs before they make repairs. Book an appointment at yokumautomotive.com. Elliot Robinson & Company, LLP, Certified Public Accountants, is Republic's local full-service accounting firm, serving as your trusted business advisors. And they're making possible our Buy the Numbers feature, where we look at stats that catch our eye on the Republic sports scene. Elliot Robinson & Company, conveniently located in the Wildwood Plaza, across from Pinnegar Chevrolet. Or find them online at ERCPA.com. Destiny Church is a proud supporter of Republic Tiger Sports, Join us on Sunday mornings at 10 a.m. at 526 East Harrison behind McAllister's. We also have a youth service for students 6th through 12th grade. Doors open at 5.30 p.m. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, or online at destinychurch.me. For nearly 50 years, Southern Sun Electric has been helping to build Republic and the Ozarks. For dependable commercial and industrial construction and service, choose Southern Sun Electric, a longtime supporter of Republic students. Find them online at southernsunelectric.com. First pitch to Cooper Pilkington is a ground out. The new pitcher is David Bend, who moves into the pitcher's mound from third base. And he retires Pilkington. One away. Carter Nation batting. Two zero count to Carter Nation, and that one is outside. Ball three from David Bend. So Breck and Green worked four innings. And gave up seven runs. Nation, the first on a walk. Nation walks. And now batting the second baseman, number one, Nolan Coble. And Nolan Coble will bat. First pitch to Coble is a ball. Coble in the game after Ryder Davis 
was injured in a collision with Jackson Overstreet. Both of them have left the game. Overstreet stayed in for a while, has since left, and now a little pop-up down the line. That's going to be a fair ball. Into left center field, a hit by Nolan Coble. And the runners, uh, the, court, the uh, Tigers, have two runners on with one out. Now batting is a leadoff batter, the center fielder, number nine, Garrett Lester. Garrett Lester bats. Trying to add on to a 7-3 lead here. First pitch is a strike. And that one is outside, one and one. Finishing the line on Brecken Green, he pitched four innings, allowed seven runs, five of them were earned, struck out six, walked one, and allowed ten base hits, including a couple of home runs. And there's a fly ball into left field, and that's going to be caught. So two away. As Lane Royal comes in and makes the catch. Runners stay put. Here comes Devin Hughes. Hughes is one for three, singled, and came in to score in the third during that six-run Tiger rally. And he pops it up toward the screen, and that's misplayed, or that was a tough play. Don't know if I would say it's misplayed. Could have been caught. Probably should have been caught, but that wasn't easy for the catcher, Daniel Rose, with this wind and the spin that was on that. Wasn't hit that high in the air. So the count's 0-1 to Hughes. He's got new life. Carter Nation at second and Nolan Coble at first. Two away. Top of the fifth inning here in Joplin. And there's a fly ball into right. Coming on is a right fielder to make the catch. David Bend retires the side. The Tigers had one hit. There was a walk. They left two runners on base and failed to score. We go to the bottom of the fifth. Tigers still on top 7-3. Back with more after this on Republic Tiger Sports. When you need a plumber, you usually need one fast, but you also want one who'll do the job right. In Republic, that's far better plumbing. Whether it's residential, commercial, or you need excavation, call Far Better and let them take away the stress of your plumbing problem. Call them at 864-8703 or find them online at farbetterplumbing.com. Get your Rocco's Pizza hot and ready for to-go orders at RoccosItalianKitchen.net or pick up a slice at the game because Rocco's is a proud supporter of Republic Athletics and the Booster Club's concession stands. Rocco's, pizza, pasta, perfection, and tiger spirit. Experience matters in real estate. With Lori and Elizabeth, you get specialists in residential, land, lake, and commercial sales from Springfield to Joplin to the lake. Your ultimate connection to lenders, marketers, and contractors. Visit laurieandelizabeth.reesnichols.com, your seasoned real estate teammates. Cole Lawrence leads it off against Cade White. Bottom of the fifth inning, and he hits it hard. Hendrickson drifts back, and it was pretty much right at him. Had to go back just a few steps. And Lawrence hit it hard, but Hendrickson retires him to lead off the fifth inning. And a first pitch strike turns into a first pitch out by Cade White. After a couple of innings of control, uh, control troubles. Cole.
Curveball hit him. Kind of turned away from it. Took it on the shoulder, and he trots down to first with one out. First hit batter of the game. And Brock Waghorn, the first baseman, will bat for Joplin. And there's a hard hit ball to center. Lester back, makes the catch. A couple of line drives into the outfield on first pitches. And they've both been outs. Line out to Hendrickson, line out to Lester. Two outs here in the inning, and Schwarting retreats back to first base. Now batting the pitcher, number 16, David Bend. David, David Bend will bat. He ben. started the game at third base. He's the pitcher now. Bats with two outs and a runner at first. Two balls, no strikes. Eight strikeouts, five walks for White. And that one gets away from Woods. A wild pitch down to second base goes Cutler Schwarting. Cutler Schwarting to second on the wild pitch. That is three wild pitches in the game by Cade White. And that's ball four. So Bend walks, and there are runners at first and second. Now batting is the second baseman, number seven, Peyton Swenson. Number seven, Peyton Swenson. Peyton Swenson takes a strike on a breaking pitch. Swenson, 0 for 2, popped out into shallow right field and then popped out into center field. And he fouls it back. That's strike two. He's in the hole 0 and 2. Braxton Goff is on deck. Swenson, the number seven hitter in the Joplin lineup. White gets a new baseball, rubs it up. And that is a ball. 97 and now 98 pitches today by Cade White. So he's coming to the end of his rope here. May very well be his last batter if he can get the out. One and two. And two and two. The ball gets away. Not very far. And now the runners are hung up. Pilkington turned to put the tag on <laughs> Schwarting. And Schwarting had retreat, retreated back to second base. Watch Pilkington. It was a quick tag, but there was nobody there to tag. And now back to live action. That one gets away. Now they do move up. So that one is another wild pitch. The third, then the second on the wild pitch. Two more wild pitches by White. And the count is full three and two on Peyton Swenson. Curveball popped into shallow center. That's going to drop right in that area where nobody could get to it. And that is a two RBI single. Two RBI 
by David Ben. So Swenson just popped it over the infield, and that's pretty much where he's hit it every time. He hit it slightly more to center field his second time up, but his first at bat was almost in that spot. And then he hit that one just right over the second baseman. So two RBIs for Swenson. That makes the score 7-5, to five. and Joplin is back in this one. Swing and a miss by Braxton Golf. He's behind on the count, one and two. Now up to 103 pitches for White. So this is got to be his last batter unless he gets him here. And that's it. So he does get him on the strikeout. That is 104 pitches, so technically he could come out and face a batter in the next inning. Face one batter in the sixth, but no more than that. We have played five. Republic on top, seven to five. We'll be back with more after this on Republic Tiger Sports. Choose locally owned Central Gas Propane for unmatched service. They go the extra mile for your needs. Call 417-725-3833 or visit centralgasmo.com to switch and save today. PKD Cafe is now Marigold Farm Cafe and Catering Company, but it's still where the 417's best burritos meet friendly faces. A haven for Republic students, it's the perfect spot to fuel up before school or unwind on a weekend. Your pit stop for flavor and relaxation only at Marigold Farm Cafe and Catering Company. Teamwear Solutions is not only your source for official Tiger apparel, but they're also a partner for your group's fundraising needs. Business apparel, bleacher apparel, and on-field apparel, they've got you covered. Find them online at TeamwearSolutions.com. David Ben back on, back on the mound. For Joplin, as Trace Harrington comes to the plate, leading off in the sixth inning. First pitch to Harrington is a ball from David Ben. Harrington homered his last time up. He lined it over the right center field fence. And that one he pops up straight back here. One and one. And I think that one, it landed on top of the press box, which is, I'm on a kind of a mezzanine outside the press box. I think it might have stayed on the roof. They've got a flat roof press box, and I, I never saw it come off. So I think somebody's probably going to end up having to get on a ladder if they want to get that one down. One and two, the count now to Harrington. And he hits it hard down the line. Snagged by the third baseman, and the throw across is not in time. It threw, uh, pulled the first baseman off the bag. Good play, but Harrington reaches. Harrington with an infield single. That's an infield hit. And you'd see the throw. First baseman couldn't quite keep his foot on the bag. And now Overstreet is back in there. So he must be doing okay. Uh, he's He left the game. They pinch hit for him with Fleetwood. And Fleetwood then went out to right field, but now re-entering the game is Jackson Overstreet. So he's one for one. 
He has scored once, also reached on a walk. This is his third plate appearance. And the count to him is two balls, one strike. That one missed three and one. Oh, no, they called it a strike. Did not see the umpire's hand go up. Two and two. Curveball, and it missed inside. And Overstreet was ready <laughs> to be punched out. Could have gone either way, and Overstreet, I don't think, would have been too surprised to turn around and see that umpire's hand up. But he got the break, and it's three and two. And he hits a line drive. One hop, two hops. Scooped by the shortstop, throw over, and it's a double play. So instead of striking out, he hits the ball fairly hard. I think he got it kind of in on the hands, fought it off. And it's a 6-3 double play. And there are two gone now with nobody on. And Wyatt Woods bats. Catcher, Wyatt Woods. First pitch to Woods is a ball. When I have glanced down at the bullpen for Republic, every time I've glanced down there, the bullpen's been empty. But I'm sure there has been somebody up because Cade White is almost finished and probably is finished. He's thrown, I think, 104 pitches, and the limit is 105. So he could go out and finish the first batter of the sixth inning, but then they'd have to replace him. They only... Uh, answer to why maybe nobody has been warming up is that if they're planning to bring in somebody from the field there's a hard hit ball through the hole on the left side a base hit for Wyatt Woods his second hit of the day he's got a single and a double and it brings in Brett Hendrickson Hendrickson is one for three with a run scored singled and scored in that six run rally in the third Now there's activity down there in the bullpen. Runner's going, and Hendrickson ropes it at the left fielder, and he reaches up and makes the catch. Hendrickson hit that on the nose, but it's nothing but a loud out. And it ends the inning. Tigers got two base hits. There was a double play. They left a runner on base. They failed to score. We go to the bottom of the sixth, and Republic is on top 7-5. to five. We'll see who's on the mound when play resumes for the Tigers. After this timeout on Republic Tiger Sports. Harris Pizza brings a slice of history to your table. Since 1961, their blend of handcrafted dough, rich sauces, and a variety of fresh toppings cooked in an authentic brick oven offers a unique dining experience. Explore their menu at arispizzapalace.com or drop into the Wildwood Plaza on Highway 60. Whether you have a hole in your roof or you're missing a single shingle, you know who to call in Republic. It's Mike Mansker and the team at Absolute Roofing. Give them a call at 869-0444 or find them online at absoluteroofers.com. You're always on a winning team with the Pinnaker Advantage. Top customer satisfaction. A large selection of new and pre-owned inventory. Plus 20% off routine maintenance for the entire ownership of your vehicle purchased at Pinnaker Chevrolet in Republic. You can score big with the Pinnaker family style service serving the Ozark since 1979 with the knowledge and no hassle or gimmicks that will make your car shopping experience easy. Let our family take care of yours with a five-star customer experience at PinnakerChevrolet.com. 
Introduce your young child to Sweet Peas at Gold Medal Gyms. It's ideal for kids aged 12 months to 5 years, promoting physical, social, and cognitive growth. Learn more at goldmedalgyms.com. State Farm Insurance is there anytime, anywhere you need it with helpful advice and award-winning service. In Republic, call Chris Yoakum at 732-1463 or go online at chrisyoakum.com and get to a better state. Number 12, Caden Shoemaker. New pitcher for Republic is Miles Lozano. Miles must have stuck, snuck out there to the bullpen and warmed up when I wasn't looking. He starts the sixth with a pitch that is high. Leadoff hitter is Caden Shoemaker, the number nine hitter in the order for Joplin. And he lines it, one hop, sliding grab. Throw to first by Nolan Coble is in time. Caden Shoemaker is retired 4-3. And back to the top of the order, Daniel Rose. Miles had a tough outing at Lebanon on Friday. So nice to see him come out there and get the first hitter. And that pitch is a strike on the outside corner to Daniel Rose. Rose singled, and that led to a run in the first. Walked, that led to a run in the third. And there's a pitch. That is low under the glove of Woods, and it's one and one. Rose struck out his last time. And that's a strike, one and two. So for Cade White, he pitched five innings, gave up five runs, all of them earned, on four base hits. He struck out nine, walked six, and a curveball, and Rose laid off two and two. Good idea by Lozano. And a curveball, and he got a piece of it. I thought he had struck out, but he tipped it to stay alive. That was a good pitch off speed. Rose was out in front. Two and two. Here's the next. Just missed outside. Three balls, two strikes. Rose is just in a little that we've seen him today, a lot like Lester. He will make you throw a lot of pitches and figure out how to get on base. And he grounds it. And Coble dives for it and can't pick it up. Great stop by Nolan Coble, but Rose is on base again. Great effort by Nolan Coble to get over there and get a glove on it. And I think if he had picked it up cleanly, he'd have had a chance. Even then, though, I, that would have been a tough play with Rose's speed. So Lane Royal bats. He has walked and scored. Otherwise, 0 for 2. Lozano would like a double play ball. And there's a grounder outside the line at third. That was a double play ball almost, just not on the right side of the foul line. 0-1. And, and back to first goes Cooper Williams. Williams, the courtesy runner for Daniel Rose. And slowly back to home plate goes Lane Royal. No balls, one strike. Tigers scored six runs in the top of the third inning, and that has been the difference right now. They lead it 7-5. to five. Home runs by Trace Harrington and Garrett Lester. And, in fact, before the game, down around the dugout, Trace Harrington, I said something about the wind. He said, well, hopefully that will help us hit some out. And it has indeed. Both those home runs were hit pretty hard, but they had the wind behind them for sure. 
0-2 the count, and that one is a ball. Just missed a little bit low. 1-2. and two. Lozano throwing strikes. And there's a grounder back to him. Turns and throws to second for one. Back to first, not in time. So Williams is double off on the force out. 1-6. And Royal reaches on a fielder's choice. He's at first base with two outs. And now Cole Lawrence comes to the plate. Now batting the center fielder, number one, Cole. Feels like the Tigers number one, Cole. are further ahead than they are. They got that six-run inning, but Joplin has just plugged away and cut into the lead. They immediately got two. They added two more in the fifth, and now it's just a two-run game. So the tying run is at the plate. And this is a safe situation, a high-intensity situation. There's a line drive into right center field. It's in the gap. And they're going to try and score the run. And he's safe just barely. Oh, my goodness. That was a risky play, but they got the run in. Royal scores all the way from first. And he almost had him, but couldn't quite get the tag down in time. Woods with a quick tag, but it's an RBI on the single by Lawrence. That was, uh, that was an Enos Slaughter play, scoring from first on a single. And it's 7-6. to six. Swing and a miss. One ball, one strike. Cutler Schwarting was hit by a pitch, came in to score his last time up. 0 for 2 otherwise. He's got a 1-1 count now against Miles Lozano. And that one is outside with a fastball. 2-1. and one. Lozano's made good pitches, but Joplin has gone with it. That last single was just a matter of Lane Royal taking the ball the other way and serving it into right field. There's one that hits the runner, and the Tigers get the break. Line drive right at the runner. It hit him, and he's retired. So the out gets Republic out of a jam, and Joplin coach Kyle Wolf can just shake his head in frustration. We go to the seventh, Republic on top, seven to six. Back with more after this timeout. You're watching Tiger Baseball on Republic Tiger Sports. Hind Street Pharmacy delivers prescriptions right to your door, and they can often save you money compared to what you're paying at the big box pharmacies. And their drive-up window can help you avoid long lines on your way home from work, too. Hind Street Pharmacy. Experience the hometown difference. Exciting things are coming soon to Republic Animal Hospital, a second veterinarian, a larger space, and pet urgent care. Medical, dental, surgical, and more on the way. Visit them at 574 East Harrison. Call 732-6800 or check republicanimalhospital.com. Any day is a great day to send flowers. Heaven Sent Flowers and Gifts has been your local florist in Republic since 1987, offering free local delivery. Call them at 732-1334 or go online to heavenssentflowers.com. Here's a touchdown for your family budget. Combine your home and auto insurance and save money with State Farm agent Sarah Rader. 
Find her online at sarahrader.com. Vision Health Eye Center, outstanding eye care, exceptional eyewear. From prescriptions to emergency care, they help your family see and feel better than ever before. Visit visionhealthicenter.com. Brock Waghorn is the new pitcher for Joplin, and he'll face the 7, 8, and 9 hitters. That's a foul pop, and it's going to land in foul territory. Pilkington hit it straight up and back, and then the wind blew it all the way back toward the third baseman, and it fell in there. So Pilkington's still alive. He is 2 for 2, or 2 for 3, rather. Was retired to lead off the fifth. Now batting to lead off the seventh. Tigers looking for an insurance run. Leading by just one, seven to six. And there's a line drive over the head of the third baseman. And a leadoff hit for Cooper Pilkington. He's at first base with nobody out. And he's got three base hits today. Good day for Cooper Pilkington. Now batting the designated hitter number 12, Carter Nation. And here comes Carter Nation. Nation 0 for 2, reached on a walk his last time. And he takes a strike. Owen one to Nation. Nolan Coble due up next. Big curveball drops in there, and 0-2 now to Carter Nation. Pilkington smoked the ball into left field to lead off the inning, and he's at first base with nobody out. Nation behind in the count, 0-2, and he takes the ball. One ball, two strikes now. Miles Lozano is on the mound trying to Finish things off. Cade White exited after five. Struggled with his control at times, but left with the lead, and he would be the winner if the Tigers can hang on. There's a ground ball hard to first. Throw down to second is in time. Throw back to first is not in time. And Nation reaches on a fielder's choice. Jared Howard to Caden Shoemaker to get the out of second base. Good play by Garrett Howard playing first base now. Pilkington retired 3-6. And now Nolan Coble. Now batting is second baseman number one, Nolan Coble. And Nation is going to exit the game. Pinch runner, Jackson Taylor. One out, runner on first base, top of the seventh. And a call strike to Nolan Coble. Coble one for two. He singled his last time, was stranded in the fifth. Popped out to short his first time up. He's in there playing second base after Ryder Davis left the game with an injury. After a collision, going after a pop-up in shallow right with Jackson Overstreet. Overstreet left the game, temporarily came back in. He stayed in the game after the collision, but came out. So not really sure how whether that was related. There's a little soft line drive missed by the pitcher, but a chance for a double play, and they can't scoop it. Coble hit it kind of a kind of a looping line drive, and I think it looked harder off the bat than it was. You see the pitcher reach out and kind of pull his glove back because he wasn't sure what to expect. 
Now batting as a leadoff batter, the center fielder, number nine, Garrett Lester. So now Coble is down at first base, and Lester pops it into left field, coming in. Left fielder makes the catch. Lester flies out to Lane Royal for out. Lane Royal, and that ends the inning. So Lester swung early, and he's retired, and the Tigers go to the bottom of the seventh with a one-run lead. Well, this has not been a good situation for Republic over the last week. They lost late leads twice in COC play. They'll try to hang on this time. As we go to the seventh, they lead it 7-6. It will be the five, six, and seven hitters due up for Joplin. Waghorn, Bend, and Swenson. And Miles Lozano will try to close it out. Back with more after this. You're watching Tiger Baseball on Republic Tiger Sports. For 30-plus years, Yokum Automotive has been Republic's trusted repair shop. Now with digital inspections, understand your car's needs before they make repairs. Book an appointment at yokumautomotive.com. Elliott Robinson & Company LLP, Certified Public Accountants, is Republic's local full-service accounting firm, serving as your trusted business advisors. And they're making possible our Buy the Numbers feature, where we look at stats that catch our eye on the Republic sports scene. Elliott Robinson & Company, conveniently located in the Wildwood Plaza, across from Pinnegar Chevrolet, or find them online at ERCPA.com. For nearly 50 years, Southern Sun Electric has been helping to build Republic and the Ozarks. For dependable commercial and industrial construction and service, choose Southern Sun Electric, a longtime supporter of Republic students. Find them online at southernsunelectric.com. Miles Lozano back out there for his second inning of work. He gave up a run in the sixth. And uh, Joplin is within a run, 7-6. to six. First pitch is a strike to Brock Waghorn. Waghorn is 0-2 for 2 with a walk. He struck out in the first inning. Lined out to center his last time up. And he takes a ball. That evens the count, 1-1 one and one from Miles Lozano. Lozano looking to pick up the save here for White. Foul ball, out of play. One and two, Lozano ahead. And that one is outside. Waghorn laid off. Lozano got ahead in the count in the sixth a couple of times, and the Joplin hitters just took the ball the other way, hit it to the right side, and got base hits, but that time, no. Curveball is bounced up there. The throw down is in time from Woods to Harrington, and Waghorn is the first out here in the seventh inning. Now batting is number 16, David Bin. Come on, David. Go, David. First strikeout for Miles Lozano. David Bend bats. Bend 0 for 2 with a walk. He struck out twice, walked, advanced on a wild pitch, and scored his last time. That was in the fifth, and he pops it up. Into shallow center, Lester calls for it. Got a beat on it, makes the catch. Quick out, and there are two gone. In the seventh inning, and the Tigers one out away from finishing this one off. Peyton Swenson is the last hope for the Eagles. Would be nice to not only get a COC win for Republic, but to win it in this fashion, where they have to hold on at the end. They've lost a bunch of close games here in the last month. And holding on here with a one-run lead in the seventh would be a, an emotional and mental boost for the Tigers. First pitch of ball. Next one is a strike to Peyton Swenson. Swenson popped out to right, popped out to center, and then popped an infield single or a, a shallow single just over the infield on the right side. And in fact, I think the outfielders are too deep right now for Peyton Swenson based on how hard he's hit it the first three times up. They better be ready to come in if he does make contact and he lines it into left field, a base hit. Didn't matter, he got, got that one solidly and hit it on the line and that's 
two base hits by Swenson now. So Swenson is at first, and here comes Braxton Goff. Nope, it's Dominic Leesman is the pinch hitter. Leesman pinch hits for Braxton Goff. Tying run is at first, and let's see if Swenson wants to run. Joplin has been willing to run in this game. Not going, and that pitch is a ball. It's 2-0 to Dominic Leesman. Caden Shoemaker is on deck. Shoemaker, the number nine hitter in the order. Two outs, bottom of the seventh inning. Lozano trying to finish this one off for the Tigers, and that one is a strike, two and one. Got it in there at the knees. And the home plate umpire goes down and gives a warning to, I guess, the first base coach was a little too vociferous in his uh, disagreement with the call. And now we're going to get a conversation. And, you know, this conversation doesn't have to happen. This is gamesmanship to have Lozano stand out there on the mound and have to stew as he waits. Now they're going to turn around and everybody's going to get back and Lozano's back on top. Two balls, one strike. Lozano delivering to Dominic Leesman. And that's a strike, two and two. And now the Tigers one strike away. Swenson at first base. Here comes the 2-2 pitch. Outside with a fastball, three and two. The runner will be going, so a ball in the gap might tie the game. Three balls, two strikes, two outs. And a swing and a miss. He struck him out. Lozano gets the strikeout and saves the game for the Tigers, and they win it. 7-6 at Joplin. First COC win of the season for Republic. And the winner, Cade White, Lozano with the save. And they do it in dramatic fashion down the stretch as Lozano strikes out Dominic Leesman with a tying run on first base. I'll take a break. Back to wrap up the broadcast after this on Republic Tiger Sports. When you need a plumber, you usually need one fast, but you also want one who'll do the job right. In Republic, that's far better plumbing. Whether it's residential, commercial, or you need excavation, call Far Better and let them take away the stress of your plumbing problem. Call them at 864-8703 or find them online at farbetterplumbing.com. Welcome back. Tigers win it over Joplin 7-6. to six. Joplin took the lead 1-0 in the... Bottom of the first inning, Tigers went on top in the third for the first time with a six-run rally. That made it 6-1. Joplin added two runs in the bottom of the third to close the gap to 6-3. A single run by the Tigers in the fourth on a home run by Trace Harrington made it 7-3. Lester had homered to lead off the third. So Harrington's home run was the second of the game for Republic. It was 7-3 after four. Joplin scored twice in the fifth. That made it 7-5. Single run in the sixth off Miles Lozano made it 7-6. They put the tying run on in the seventh, but Lozano closed it out with a strikeout of Dominic Leesman, and the Tigers win it 7-6. Seven runs, 14 hits, no errors by Republic. Six runs, seven hits, two errors by Joplin. Winning pitcher is Cade White. He worked five innings, gave up five runs on four hits, six walks. He struck out nine. Miles Lozano gets the save. Two innings of work, one run on three hits, struck out two and did not walk a batter. Tigers win it. They break a three-game losing streak. They win their first conference game of the year. They're now 1-2 and two in the COC and 12-9 and nine overall. And they win it today, 7-6. to six. That's going to do it as the Tigers beat Joplin 7-6. And win their 12th game of the season.
back in action on Thursday at Carthage. And they'll try to keep this conference winning streak alive as they travel to Carthage on Thursday. Tigers win it 7-6 from Joplin. I'm David Brazil. Thanks for watching Tiger Baseball on Republic Tiger Sports.